Hey, I'm Kinga Phillips with Traveler Buzz, bringing you what the world is searching for in travel. The searches on Yahoo are always high for relaxing getaways, and just such a spot is Sonoma, California. It has beautiful vineyards, wineries, chateaus, great little bed and breakfast, and it's just a short drive from San Francisco. But there is a side to Sonoma that you might not know about, the flip side. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to describe the feeling of flipping over. You're completely weightless for a moment, and you look up and there's the ground above or below you or whatever you want to call it. And I fly a lot, and I'm pretty sure Southwest doesn't do that. Chris, first of all, tell me where did you learn to fly like that? Not everyone can do that. Well, I learned to fly right here, mainly by, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say trial and error, but self-taught. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the history of this plane, because the plane has an interesting history yeah, too. Yeah, this is a 1941 Boeing Spearman, used by cadets in the World War II trainer for the primary, the primary phase of training before they went into you know, advanced trainers and fighters, bombers, and so on and so forth. It's beautiful, and it has a yeah. radial engine. It's nine cylinders, 985 cubic inches, 450 horsepower, Pratt Whitney engine. And now tell me a little bit about the business that you have here. Correct? Yeah, we've been doing this for 30 years now for exciting aerobatic flights as well as, uh, you know, more low-key scenic flying. I personally like the scenic flying just as much as the aerobatic part. So sure. those of you that, you know, don't necessarily want to go... Upside down. Flip, no worries. <laughs> you know, that, the scenic part's probably the best part of flying for me. Especially you know, here in Sonoma. Absolutely. Being able to see sights that only you can see from this point of view your personal view, which is what I enjoy about flying in an open cockpit airplane. airplanes, I'd say, safely 100 plus airplanes here on the airport. We, op we operate five. We have three biplanes, and then the, the AT-6 Harvard type airplane, which is a World War II low wing advanced trainer. We have a fighter plane that we've been working on for six years. It's a, a Curtis P-40 and a Flying Tigers airplane. It's this is such a unique way to see this. And oh, yeah. just so fun and exciting. You get the adventure, you get the fun, and then you get to check out the vineyards maybe that you want to go see. There's a good winery, you want to go see that one. Yeah, you get to find out how much room is in between both valleys. There you go. There's a lot of space between all. So there's, there's a lot to see with, you know, from the air between the Napa and Sonoma. Now Sonoma definitely has a lot of options for things to do, but if you want to try something completely different, I highly recommend the old upside down loop-de-loop -loop in a vintage aircraft biplane. A lot of fun, just make sure you eat the cheese and the wine afterwards. I'm Kinga Phillips for Traveler Buzz. <laughs>